So I've had over a dozen people send me messages or leave comments under my YouTube videos asking me, Hosein, should I continue investing into Flutter? I've heard Google laid off a huge part of the Flutter team. So is it worth continuing with Flutter? In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my honest answer to this question, talking about what the future of Flutter is and how I've come to my conclusion. To begin or preface the actual conversation, I'm just going to be quickly telling you guys that Google did a series of layoffs, among which they laid off a lot of people from a lot of different teams that Google manages. Some of those teams relate to Flutter and Dart, and that's where some of the people lost their jobs. So people are now panicking, thinking about, hey, Flutter's dead, and now I am going to be here to put your mind at ease. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. So the first thing that I want to talk about is that if you come to this TechCrunch article, and I'll leave links to all of the resources that I mentioned down within the video as well, you can see that the actual Google project manager, Kevin Moore in the Flutter development community on Reddit said that we know that you all care so much about the project and the team and the awesome ecosystem that we've built together. You're nervous, I get it, we get it. You're blooding on Flutter and Dart, so am I, and so is Google. So you can see from this passage that the actual PM or project manager that leaves the Flutter development team is letting you know that, hey, Hey, Google hasn't given on Flutter, we haven't given up Flutter, and most specifically, the actual community hasn't given up on it. And another thing that I'd like to talk about here is that the actual project manager, Kevin Moore for Flutter development, specifically stated that Flutter and Dart were some of the teams that got affected, but there were a lot of teams that lost a lot of projects and lost a lot of people. So you can see that this was not something that was specific to just Flutter. So with that said, Still, you guys might have some doubts. So what I'm now going to be doing is actually showcasing to you guys all of the activity that's currently happening even after the layouts on the actual Flutter repository, pub.dev and some other things that I've found out. So firstly, let's take a look at the Flutter GitHub repo. So on GitHub, if you come to the actual Git repo for Flutter, you can see here that if you come to the section which says commits, there are a bunch of comments that have happened to the actual repo in just the past one day. And even on the day at which I'm recording this video, you can see that there's a bunch of different commits that have been made to the actual repo. So Flutter is not going anywhere, at least from the community aspect of it, or at least from the maintenance aspect for it, because people are actively contributing a lot to the actual GitHub repo. Besides this, if you come to the actual pub.dev page, I recently read on an article that as of 2023, there were over 33,000 individually unique packages that were listed on pub.dev, and the number has surely increased by a big margin in 2024. I just couldn't specifically find what the exact number for. So this means that there's a great developer community and an ecosystem that surrounds Flutter. And one other thing that I'd like to talk about is that if you come to the flutter.dev website and come to the point where it says Flutter in action or the showcase button that you see here in the top bar, you can see that Google internally uses Flutter for a lot of different projects that they build. This includes Google Pay, Google Earth, Google Ads, Google Classroom. So Google obviously has a big bet placed on Flutter. That's why they're implementing it within their own organization as well and creating all of these cool, awesome apps. But if you still don't believe it, if, if you scroll down just a bit, you can see that there's a ton of other companies which are very large mega corporations that have used Flutter to build their application. This includes companies such as Tencent, a big tech company from China, Betterment, you have the US Departments of Veterans Affairs, ByteDance, Alibaba Group, Google Classroom, and a whole bunch of things like that. And then besides this, you can also take a look at a lot of individual indie developers as well as small developer teams that are actively using Flutter. So from the actual looks of it, I don't think the Flutter is going anywhere soon. And then one final thing that I'd like to talk about is, yeah, okay, everybody's using Flutter, but what's the point of me learning Flutter if I can't get hired or if I can't use it in a professional landscape so that I can actually get paid for my skills? So lucky you asked that because I actually went on to LinkedIn and did some research regarding active roles that pertain to Flutter. And you can see that even in my current location, which is Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, there are a bunch of different Flutter jobs that are being posted all the time. And if you specifically come and search for, let's just say, a Flutter developer job, you can see that there's a bunch of companies that are actively hiring within the Middle East. But if I change the location to, let's just say, the United States, you can see that there's a bunch of people hiring Flutter developers here as well, and jobs are being posted all of the time. You can see this one was 22 hours ago, 22 hours ago, one day ago, and you can see all of these. And then besides this, I can come to Europe, you can see jobs all over the European Union, and still there's a bunch of different actual job opportunities that are being posted for talented Flutter developers. So I think there's a growing job market as well. And I think the job market will keep increasing for the coming future because the developer adoption for Flutter has been increasing at a very huge pace. 
Besides this, the last thing that I'd like to talk about is that if you come to a website called layoffs.fyi, you can actually see a detailed air table, which kind of shows you publicly available information about different companies that are technology companies and how many layoffs they've actually done. So you can see that Rivian, this is a big auto manufacturer. They've laid off over 120 people. Google has done 57. There's Invox, which has done 170, QL 230. So you can see that this layoff is happening industry-wide. This is not something that's particular to just the Flutter team or DAR team. So with that said, what's my one word of advice that I should let you guys know? Should you keep learning Flutter? I think Flutter is an excellent framework and you should definitely invest your time into learning it because it's going to open up a lot of cool opportunities for you. But I highly want to stress this out and that is focus on how to become a good problem solver and a good programmer and then taking a look at problems, analyzing how you can approach a solution to this problem, and then utilize whatever tools are available to you to actually create a solution to the problem that you're handling. So don't be a framework, even though Flutter is an excellent framework for you to learn, focus on actual problem solving techniques and focus on becoming a good engineer. And I can let you know with 100% certainty that good engineers are always in the bed, whether the economy is booming or in a recession. So with that, stay happy, stay healthy, keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.